my story is overcoming. I was born in Venezuela and in 96, we moved to the States. I didn't relate to anybody here. My mom would like house it. They were getting rid of a bunch of stuff and like the owner was like, oh, um, if you like any of those things, like you can keep it. And it was like a stack of comic books, Spider-Man and X-Men. And I was obsessed. When it came to like the X-Men, oh, these are people that are just like me. In a way, they kind of like became my pals. I love them. They're totally a part of me. At the time, I wasn't even thinking, oh, I'm gonna cosplay, but I was just fascinated. So I Googled the term and then I started to see all these people dress up and I was like, oh my goodness, people will actually like do this? And then eventually I was like, all right, I really wanna do this. I've looked at people enough. I had some knowledge how to sew, but I had no idea about like patterns or how to cut fabrics. All of that was just like completely self-taught. I've always wanted to like make a living off of my art. At first I did commissions, like I would make uh, costumes for other people. And sometimes I'd get hired by like other companies. So now I make fabrics for cosplayers. I help with the design aspect of it and let them know what it is that cosplayers want. For Jean's costume, I probably worked on it for about like two weeks. I drafted it onto myself and like marked like where I wanted everything. And then I transferred it to my dress form and started working from there. I figured that it would be cool to do some of like a more structured pieces. It's been a lot of like, does this work? Yes, okay. <laughs> sort of that trial and error which I think is so true for uh, X-Men costume. You can't fudge anything. <laughs> Megacon is so huge. I actually met my fiance at that convention. John's a cosplayer too. He understands like the time that I put into it and my passion for it. We've been together for a long time. It's really cool to see how far it's come from like a hobby to like a super passion. I'm really happy for her, she's great. I love cosplaying with him and I'm excited that we get to do like Marvel stuff together. I always find myself being very empathetic to people and Jean is like that, 100% relate to her. When I started to cosplay, it was like the first time where I actually felt that sense of belonging. You know, if you, for example, were cosplaying a character that they liked, it was an instant, oh my God, we can be friends. I've actually had a lot of interesting experiences with younger people because sometimes they'll try to find someone to connect with. And it's very humbling. I've seen her other Jean Grey costume and it's so great. So it was really cool. I mean, I saw her earlier and I ran up to her. Like, I'm so excited that other people were cosplaying Jane. So it was exciting to see her do one of the new ones. I love seeing how people make their costumes, picking their brains. I, I always learn from how other people make things. Sorry, I'm asking so many questions. I'm so curious about your room. It's, it's, it's not easy to walk, but it's not yeah. hard. Yeah. Right. So, oh, is that the expanding foam? Yeah, this is real hair and everything? What? Wow! I used to feel so alone and so like recluse to everything and now it's like I'm a part of this huge community and it's very special for me. It makes me feel really good. I know there may be a day when they'll say, oh, I don't want to wear a costume. And I think that's going to be a little bit sad for me.